Hi guys, so let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Okay. So, um, before we start, is it, oh, if you see my Instagram handle over here, I'll scoot, or whichever side it is. Okay, um, check it out. I do upload there daily uh, for Instagram TV. And also, if you comment there, you know, I do random readings over there. All right, so Taurus, um, we're going to be doing three tarot decks. Uh, we're going to start with Bougie, okay, which is my verse, very first tarot deck. It's uh, going to be shipped out August. So, you know, if you guys are a tarot enthusiast, I'm very happy to share this with you guys. You know, it's like I'm such a YouTuber. I'm so happy to share with you guys. This is my whole life. It's just, no, it's just like maybe a year of my life. Okay, not my whole life. Okay, so it's gonna be, so make sure you check it out on my website. And then I think that's it. Anything else? Oh, if we do see the Wheel of Fortune, we do prediction for this time, okay? Um, based on transit. Again, this is based on Vedic sidereal astrology, the whole thing, the tarot, everything is. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Is this the first one? No, we're gonna go to Bougie Deck first. Okay. Funky Town. There was a Two of Cups, there was a Lovers in the pre shuffle, there was a Strength Guard also. Funky Town. Okay, so let's see what's going on. For my Taurus, let's see what you guys have. Mm -hmm. You got an Eight of Swords, okay. Now, um, when we made this, uh, okay, the artwork here, when we sketched it, it was about, you know, it's like getting hit, okay? Not the good kind, not the, the smoke one, when you hit to get a hit. No, this is getting hit by your thoughts, one after the other, okay? Um, the way it also appears here is that, you know, it's like it was too much to handle, just like a bag, okay? It was weighing you down. That's why the I for us in when, when we sketch this in Bougie, um, the bag is us and it's just like this thoughts that you have, because that's the air, right? It's just putting so much pressure in you. And you know, it's like you can't let go of a bag even though it's heavy, right? Mm -hmm. For the ladies, even though for the guys, your gym bag, right? It's like it's so heavy, but there's so much things that is not needed, correct? Right? So, you know, um, you have so much clutter in a bag, correct? Yes. So Unload, correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's what it is. Okay. That's how we wanted to um, to incorporate in the read. Um, very practical approach is, you know, it's like if we are the bag and we're carrying so much stuff, you know, it's like one by one, you know, just let go, take it out. We don't need, you know, five lipsticks, you know, two blush ons over there, and also your summer outfit when it's still winter or something like that. Okay, we don't need that in our gym bag. We don't need three shoes. Okay, because if you're just doing CrossFit, then just carry the one for the CrossFit. You understand me? Okay, so that's the Eight of Swords. Very applicable approach, right? Hmm. So apply it to your head. Okay, so one one step at a time, you can get out of it. Get a ten of coins. Pentacles, pentacles, and pentacles, okay. So the sooner that you have unload this thing that you have been carrying around, unnecessary thoughts, 
Okay? Someone will make you feel secure, or the more that you will feel secure. Okay. Now, the Ten of Coins here is like, you know, it's like the person is just bedazzled, okay, by all those coins and feeling. So, because when, when we did this, it, the coins was a security blanket, kind of like, you know, it's like my, my chests are protected, like your heart is protected, you know, because the Four Pentacles is like closing it. This one feels secure. You get into a, you know, a, can be a financial secure, like your, your finances get secure, um, or you just feel secure that this person is very, very loyal to you. Um, someone, of course, is wanting to have a long-term relationship with you. But again, there's a lot of things first that you were encountering. I feel like it's totally, um, you know, separate from you. But again, this can be the person that you're dealing with. The Ten of Coins. Um, here, there's a little bit sense of vulnerability, what I'm sensing here. But someone wants to give it, like, everything to you here with the Ten of Coins. Five of Wands. Okay. Now, normally the five ones, there's a lot of people, you know, but here, okay, someone feels that I can't escape from the situation that I'm in. It can be like you're in a, you're in marriage right now and you want to be with someone else. Okay, that's only for some because like they're caged in. Someone here can be trapped because of financial security, okay, and they can't get out of it. Like you're in a relationship because of finances. That's one thing. Um, but others um, with the five of ones. Um, I feel like the person that you're dealing with, they can't get out also. They want the Ten of Coins with you. You want the Ten of Coins, but you're dealing with something else and they don't know. Like, they, like what do I do? You know, the Five of Wands person is like, what do I do? So they're having a conflict. Okay. And you wouldn't even know this because you're just, you're, you, you know, if you're the Eight of Swords, then you're going through stuff on your own while they don't know what's going on with you. The only thing certain is the Ten of Coins, that you guys are in a relationship. Three of Pentacles here. Can be work-related issues here, like you're thinking about how can I start a new job? How can I start a new career? You know, that's a Three of Pentacles. Um, this would also show that um, you have an en um, energy of escapism. Like, I don't want to think about things. I'd rather put my time at work, okay? Because the Three of Coins is just like, I need to be busy. I need to be, uh, you know, occupied right now so that my mind does not go where it's not supposed to. Okay? But you're not addressing it. Underneath the Ten of Coins. We got your King of Cups. Can be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but this is a Scorpio card. See, this is the person. I feel like you're very much in love with them. Because they give you, okay, like that sense of balance with the Ten of Pentacles. Like you love this person, like because the energy is moving forward here. Like you want to extend your, yourself to this person. You're coming out of it already. Eight of Wands. See, now from feeling restricted and bound, the person, you know, you guys will have movement. There's a clear sense of direction now with the relationship. So everything is cleared out. I feel like the more, the, you know, like as soon as you have express your feelings, you know, things become easier and just, you know, it's like the ones is just going that direction. I'll see you, you know, there's travel, okay. The restrictions from both of you now are lifted because the eight of ones looks like lift off, okay. And as you try to focus yourself at work, yeah, that's what your choice of uh, delay, basically, or that's their choice of delay. Because that's a time where you can, okay, think of all the things that you need to be enlightened. See, the hangman, it depends, you know, because if you're already in the Eight of Swords, then you would need the hangman. You would need to be basically, I need to clear my head. And, you know, it's like, even though it's difficult, you know, like to delay this of movement, okay, I have to. So that's the hangman. Because you don't know yet how to proceed. You're gathering the strength can be, you know, under the king of cups, ten of cups. Mm. See? You have ten of pentacles with the ten of cups. You could have Aries in your zodiac. So as above, so below. Okay. This is um, happy, well, this is happy family. This is not just a wish granted, 
this is having what your dreams, you know, like what you've always been dreaming, okay? Someone who loves you, someone who will take care of you. You, you, you have someone who's a keeper, basically. Not a gatekeeper, but a keeper, okay? Hmm. This person is just waiting for you to, you know, it's like as soon as your mind is clear with the hangman, they will, they will be welcoming you with like open arms, because that's a Ten of Cups. Look, it's like open arms. And underneath the Eight of Wands, you get a Page of Cups. An even exchange of love messages. They're very excited to see you. You know, they've been just waiting there. Because, again, they don't know where to do, where to go or what else to do with their life, with the Five of Wands. They feel like, I, I'm not going to look for anyone. I'm just here, but you're there. And, but there's the gap, again. Because you're, you're doing some, you know, it's like the analyzation that you're going through is heavy. The Eight of Swords, your Birkin is heavy. Just saying. Okay, don't kill the crocodiles. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading, Taurus. Now, how it works is um, we'll see as the energies move forward if you felt blocked or they felt blocked. Um, we'll dive deeper into, you know, um, how this person is extending their love. If you are the one extending with the Page of Cups or they are. And if there was any hold up with the hangman. Link down there in the description box for the extended, and I'll see you guys again. Bye. This is the Doctress, Mystic, of course. But here, it's just like, you slain. Okay, B-I-T-C-H, basically. You slain. Yeah. You know. They will bounce or they will bounce. Because, the, you know, it's like, if this keeps getting delayed, okay, then I bounce. I go. I take my... It's good. If it's bad, it's bad. You know? Because the food is just like, you know what? We're holding on to each other. Let's just give this a try. Okay, the four of cups.